Okay, 515, February 6th. We'll go ahead and call, call the meeting to order. Jane, you want to do roll call? Lindbergh. Present electronically. <clears throat> Rudolph. Here. Shaben. Present. Kroger. Here. Kelly. Here. Peterson. Here. Thank you. And we've all received a copy of the agenda. I don't think there's any additions, subtractions, nothing to add. Is there a motion to approve the agenda? Motion. Second. Motion by Peterson, second by Kroger. Roll call Lindbergh. Aye. Rudolph. Aye. Shaven. Aye. Kroger. Aye. Kelly. Aye. Peterson. Aye. Thank you. Any conflicts with anything? State them now or as they come up along the way. Under the consent agenda, these are all under one motion and one roll call. We have the minutes of the uh, January 16th, 24 council meeting, January 18th, special council meeting, and January 30th, budget work session meeting. Claims list 1307, the amount of $206,065.59. Everybody saw some of the, other, the larger ones. Any questions, concerns for anybody on those? I would just uh, gladly point out, which was noted on the larger amounts, that the materials for the new welcome signs have been placed. I didn't even want to jinx it by saying anything about it. So <laughs> it's like, uh, I want to be officially just motions and seconded and be done. So we, then we can talk I want about to bring it. some attention to okay. it. <laughs> That's been a while. Okay. And then the, uh, we also have the HMU Sewer Landfill Reconciliation Report for July, August, <coughs> September, October, November, and December of 2023. Renewal application for Dolan Corp, LLC, doing business at Dollar General, number 2377, for a Class B retail alcohol license. And a renewal application for the Knights of Columbus in Harlan, special Class C retail alcohol license. Is there a motion and a second for that? Motion. Second. Motion by Rudolph, second by Kroger. Roll call Lindbergh. Aye. Rudolph. Aye. Shaben. Aye. Kroger. Aye. Kelly. Aye. Peterson. Aye. Under other, other business review, the VK Engineering Agreement for in town lift station flood mitigation update. Included a cover memo with this in your packet. Uh, we've uh, done a couple of activities over the past four or five years down around the in-town lift station. This is uh, just off Utility Avenue down again at the Dog Pound. It is a uh, key asset to our entire treatment system and collection system that goes out to the plant. Uh, Todd Penston, who works with our uh, wastewater and stormwater engineering firm with Beatster and Kim, uh, has joined us as well. I didn't know he was going to be a person, but he was in the air, so it's great to have you here, Todd. And we felt it's important that uh, we have a post uh, with the other activities that were done down there in the last five years to get a post analysis of those improvements to further understand our uh, concern with any uh, further flood activities or and what, what it would look like, like if we put it in. Or, uh, mitigated it for a 500 year flood, which it's not currently. Um, there are various funding arms out there, usually through uh, the Hazard Mitigation Group and some uh, when other flood funds become available, that we want to be in a, a positive position to uh, apply for those uh, when those opportunities come available and what it would take to further mitigate that area. Uh, any comments you would share with that, Todd? Uh, and, and so the engagement for services would be um, to uh, study the area, uh, get a preliminary, I'll say, uh, uh, update on elevations, as well as any update to the reporting. Um, and it's for a fee not to exceed $8,500. That not to exceed would mean if they ever if they get close to that, uh, don't believe they will. But if so, uh, we'd be notified if they need to go over that, and that would come from again non-general. It would be out of the proprietary sewer fund under capital. So, attempting to address all your, your 
that's what that would look like. But additional comments that you may add to that, Todd? Or? I think you hit the, the highlights there. Um, I mean, the, the main thing is that since the last time we actually since we originally wrote that report in 2020, that's the dirt work has been done down there to kind of bring up some of the elevations to prevent some some flooding, but certainly not mitigate a 500 year flood event. So we just kind of want to go back out, pre survey it, and, and update our cost estimates and, our, and see if there's any changes that we need to make in the original plan. Um, to just make sure you're in the best possible position for applying for grant money. So you guys tapped into like the long-term forecast, or maybe not like a chance of flooding, even rain, maybe. So it was a '93. Once you figure that out, Mayor. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and we talked about the, you know, I'm guessing years ago we talked about the 100-year flood, 500-year flood, and then, whammo, we got one back in the '90s, and uh, now it's like it would take a lot to. But it would just take one, probably. And so. No, I just didn't hear what happened in Southern California in the last 24 hours. Oh, no, yeah. I've not kept up with that, but I know there was some significant concern there. Mm -hmm. Don't, I'm not kept pace with yeah, that. You can't complain about today. I mean, 50 some degrees, whatever it was out there for February. Felt like spring. Maybe it's going to rain today. No, I think it's a good idea. Be, be ahead of it instead of <coughs> catching up. So, is there a motion? For this enter into, enter into this agreement. Motion. Second. Motion by Kroger, second by Peterson. Roll call Lindbergh. Aye. Rudolph. Aye. Shaven. Aye. Kroger. Aye. Kelly. Aye. Peterson. Aye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for being here. Thank thanks, you. Todd. Yeah, thanks for being here, Todd. I'll get a signed version to you tomorrow. Okay. Sounds great. You're welcome to stay and it he gets pretty lively. We're here. a fun group. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. Yep. Awesome. That was great. I appreciate it. You bet. Talk to you soon. Next up, we're, we'll review and approve the 2023 Street Improvement Project Change Order Number 1. As I've shared the last couple of meetings as we uh, with this large project, as well as with the USDA component, um, number of final steps that we need to execute or implement just more uh, very prescriptively and uh, this is the change order number one you think well why is that at the end of the project it's because it trues up all the quantities used and on the quantities used if you may have noticed we actually came in about seventy five thousand dollars under the original estimate we added more uh, uh, surface area more surface area of streets uh, so for example we were able to do uh, 9th Street, we added uh, on Willow from 19th out to the highway, yet again our full depth, we didn't go a full depth 3 inches everywhere. So th th that change order essentially uh, trues up the quantities used and that was uh, about a $75,000 savings uh, on that change order. So that's a one uh, uh, item fraction in front of you. So, so that's the first one is the 75000 Excess, whatever. And then so I was doing some of the math. I was trying to figure that out, like seventy-five thousand. Then it's like sixty-six thousand, and then ended up a net result of nine thousand. But we're still owing. Is that coming up on the next one? Then is that the the final? Yeah, we we'll have project it, pay. It'll be last. payout of retainage. Okay. okay. So it's. Um, yeah. So this was the. the that's kind of one. small too, even for a guy that works with eyeballs. That's pretty small to read. You know? <laughs> Yeah, I don't have this fully expanded there, but uh, the 75000 is right here, so it's the 75000 saving on materials. Okay. So that's what this one is then, as far as the first one? That's correct. Okay. All right, is there a motion to approve the uh, project change order number one? Motion. Second. Motion by Kroger, second by Rudolph. We'll call Lindbergh. Aye. Sha or, excuse me, Rudolph. Aye. Shaven. Aye. Kroger? Aye. Kelly? Aye. Peterson? Aye. Thank you. Then would be review and approve the 2023 Street Improvement Project pay app number five subfinal. And uh, this is for $9,025. And uh, that was on page 37 of your packet. And so here's that 9025 and the reason it's considered subfinal is because then we'll, on the meeting on the 20th, we will do the, again, a lot of prescriptive and procedural items here. 
yet we need to uh, follow these will be a, the final payout with release and retainage which is this 66,071 so we've been with contracts like this which you've seen before uh, the withholding on retaining five percent back so to release that five percent retainage issue final statement of completion from the engineer and that starts the clock on the warranty I uh, would also point out that, uh, again, there's a lot of detail sheets here that uh, it is, uh, we came to resolution on um, the traffic control, which is, I can't see the exact row here, but uh, we negotiated, uh, we felt their traffic control lacked at the start of the project, and we were withholding 10000 and we negotiated, we withheld 5000 um, due to some extra work that our staff was doing, um, some of the lack of, again, between barricades and having some of their staff for that first uh, four or five days. And uh, so this reflects that, that 5000 is being withheld uh, towards that final amount. So hopefully that addresses all the questions, then we'll have the uh, final payout release, ret release retainage and uh, the engineer statement on the 20th. Is there a motion to approve? Project pay up number five, sub final. Motion. Second. Motion by Peterson, second by Rudolph. By a whisper. <laughs> Roll call Lindbergh. Aye. Rudolph. Aye. Shaven. Aye. Kroger. Aye. Kelly. Aye. Peterson. Aye. Thank you. Review the street closing permits for Roar into Harlan events May through September of 2024. Spring's coming. Spring's, Spring's coming. coming. Uh, the County Board of Supervisors mm -hmm. acted on this uh, same permit request for their use of their grounds uh, this morning's meeting and uh, continues to be a wonderful event. Uh, Chamber, uh, Todd's office continues to be very supportive, helps with promotion, mm -hmm. also manages their account and uh, been a great partner again from a city perspective we uh, do uh, supply barricades um, had uh, no, no issues in the past Seth's their um, Seth Johansson is uh, their manager or leader and uh, the permits reflected um, using the west and north side and the east and north side based upon uh, which Thursday or which month um, they do a lot of promotion with that and uh, partner with some downtown businesses. So these are their annual permits and don't have any concern from the uh, city side. Yeah, it seems to be very, very well attended. <clears throat> I'm being in my front yard, it's lots of people out there. Mm -hmm. and they've got bands, I don't know what they have lined up this year. They've got bands this year and yep. have some, some food. Yep. And just, you know, just continue to expand on it. Lots of cars and trucks. And, so, yeah. yeah, they've done a really nice job. Um, and this seems to be well organized, you know, nothing really seems to be, nobody's, you know, lives there, works there, they're not an inconvenience for any of us down there. They, they work very well with people around them, so. Okay, I'd look for a motion to approve the Rowan to Harlan permits. Motion. Second. You guys are dominating tonight, and it's like... I'm just too slow here. Okay. <laughs> just, just say motion, Lindbergh, will you? Yeah, I'll give it to Kyle, you. Kyle can have it. Yeah. But prove that you're even around. Okay, motion by Lindbergh. I'll give the second to Kroger this time. Oh. So. Okay, let me change my notes. Okay. Shaben, <laughs> you're just out there in La La Land. We don't know, so. Okay, roll I'm just, call. I'm just walking down the sidewalk. Okay. He's pacing. Roll call Lindbergh. Aye. Rudolph? Aye. Shaben? Aye. Kroger? Aye. Kelly? Aye. Peterson? Aye. Thank you. Moving right along, City Administrator's Report. A handful of updates. The um, mayor commented on the uh, spring like early February weather. Uh, permitted some opportunity for our uh, street department to address some more of the and our last four, so some trees coming down the last few days, and also with our uh, our parks team, some some planning that uh, doesn't always provide some opportunity for planning uh, during this time of year versus snow removal and uh, ice control. Uh, <clears throat> Tim Miller and Tony Kramer completed their uh, CPO, CPO for the certified pool operator um, continuing education. They completed that uh, yesterday 
with an online course. Um, so again, with some of the nice weather, get some of these things uh, knocked out. The upper story facade uh, application uh, deadline was last week. We've received eight applications. So uh, Kyle, I know that's on your calendar that we'll be interviewing those eight applicants, uh, interviewing and question and answer with the committee uh, next Thursday and the following Monday. And looks like some, again, continued great applications. Uh, Jen Malone in uh, the, our office this year has done some preliminary review of, you know, based upon the total ask and if we need to do one or two adjustments to be able to maximize funding. So she and I were just reviewing that earlier today that uh, I think will pro provide for uh, some good review as well as planning for uh, those applications on the 15th and 19th. The uh, some businesses, so I've spoken with one or actually two now, and uh, maybe Todd's office has spoken with some with the updated co uh, community videos on our website that uh, you may be hearing from CGI uh, Communications, which is out of the East Coast, and that's simply an opportunity. It's voluntary if your business or nonprofit wants to. <coughs> Uh, sponsor and advertise on our updated city walk, city videos that uh, you'll be hearing from, uh, you may be hearing from them, and again, that is legit. And uh, just last week, uh, the mayor did a uh, uh, updated recording uh, promoting the new sponsorship opportunity. There was a line of people outside in front of City Hall wanted his, his, uh, his signature. And like wanted his, three pens and went through uh, some. becoming quite a, a video yeah. star here, so. <laughs> Uh, that new uh, welcome release will be uh, released here, I think, this week. Uh, but if you're hearing, you're getting contacted by CGI Communications, that, uh, again, that is legit and provides some marketing advertising opportunity for you uh, as a business. Uh, a couple things with the airports. The, uh, just a reminder, the hangar number six uh, for the additional powered doors, uh, that bed deadline is the 16th of February. Um, between our engineer and locally here, we've uh, had interest from uh, at least two companies so far. Doesn't mean they're going to bid per se, but there is interest in the project. And then uh, Scott Pigsley at the airport was contacted by uh, Spencer, didn't catch his last name from the DOT, uh, that wanted to come out and look at our past two, or excuse me, our past two uh, hangar door projects on hangar three. Um, so. We met with him and one of the commission members out there this Monday, just yesterday, I guess, and spent a few hours uh, reviewing the previous door project, um, open and close the doors for him just to show how those power doors work. They were quite impressed, uh, but also provide a great opportunity to engage and provide feedback on how their grant program is working, from a timing, um, some suggestions that uh, I know Rick Dilser from the commission and Scott as our manager that, you know, <clears throat> It would be nice if we could actually uh, bank some funding. So some of our GAVI, which is called Vertical Infrastructure Projects, for example, on Hangar 3, that need to be broken into co two components because to do all the doors at once, if that was a vertical infrastructure project that would be funded, it would be nice if we could bank, like, like we can do with our uh, entitlement funds when, from the FAA, we can bank those for four years. So it was safe in terms of some engineering costs, bidding and letting costs, so some feedback to be more efficient. And they were very welcoming of that. We'll take some feedback back to, to their group. So uh, activities at the airport. Um, with the park board meeting next week, uh, this may be something that's in front of you as a governing body in two weeks. Uh, <clears throat> no surprise that with continued uh, labor pressures as well as with uh, services and costs uh, that uh, we've reviewed with you with uh, budget requests that the cost operator pool um, does not go down and also we continue to be on the low end of wage scales for our lifeguards. So staff uh, spent some considerable time the last week and a half in preparation of next Tuesday's board park board meeting to have some review and consideration of uh, lifeguard wages as well as on admission and ticket prices. So that, um, you know, taking both the sides of the equation into account, revenue and expense, how that could be close to a, rep to a, a neutral impact to our general fund and tax. So uh, I know, uh, Troy, you're our park liaison. Again, you all received notices of that uh, meeting, yet I, we fully anticipate there'll be some recommendations in front of you in two weeks 
um, with that. So just wanted to give you a uh, preliminary on that. <clears throat> a Dream Playground Committee and activities continue to just, you know, they, they've taken a level up and they've just kind of stayed this level up. So today there was uh, out of Fairway, uh, just about a thousand dollar donation from the Roundup campaign. Again, every every couple thousand dollars, thousand dollars helps towards. I mean, we're just over four hundred twenty-five thousand now of uh, our local funding. So, uh, thanks to Fairway and uh, this Friday, Harlan Social, uh, a downtown business, is doing a campaign that. Uh, Ten percent of their profits on Friday at Harlem Social will go towards this community project. Uh, other businesses, uh, entities, if you're interested in that type of support, uh, just contact a committee member of City Hall, and we can kind of help with that support and partnership. So uh, great to see that, and we thank everyone for that. Uh, this Thursday, I'll be uh, heading to Red Oak. Uh, we have our Southwest Highway Administrators Network that uh, we meet quarterly, and have an opportunity to to network with our group. Uh, as the legislature is well underway, there's some some uh, topics that we'll be, we'll be reviewing, uh, as well as we can learn and, and listen to one another. <clears throat> one item that uh, I we're going I look forward to talking with my peer group on is with the uh, new requirement of a tax statement that we mailed out to every property owner. Uh, still gaining clarity on this, and I shared a sample with you report uh, in writing, but I, I'm going to couch my comments right now until I gain some more clarity with my peers, uh, because I, from everything we're seeing, and this is new for everybody, this is, this is every municipality as well as county, with this new notice that's going to be mailed to every property owner, um, it, at first blush, from what we've plugged in, it appears to be... Um, it's the right spirit and intent from our legislature last year, from House Law 718, yet from the legislative direction, and I say the spirit and intent of that, to the execution as to when it gets implemented, it appears just it appears to have some gaps and clarity, and it may be misleading to our taxpayers. So I'll just leave it at that, and I look forward to meeting with my peers on Thursday. Uh, and certainly report back to you on that. And uh, lastly, I, I heard some conversation before the meeting started, but I'm, I'm uh, on pins and needles waiting for the mayor's report to see if he'll comment about the uh, the bubble show at, uh, our, at our activity center. So maybe he'll share that on camera, maybe not. And that's all I have for uh, my update and comments. Um, oh, we had a nice employee appreciation. Thanks for those of you in the governing body who could be there and uh, had a good share of our employees there, and uh, it was an enjoyable evening. So, and that was last Friday at the Country Club, and it was a nice meal, and I appreciate that. And our, our team appreciates that as well. Uh, that's all I have. Thanks, Gene. Questions or comments for Gene? <clears throat> guys out there in Cyberland got anything for Gene? Nope. <laughs> Troy is still walking around on the sidewalk. <laughs> No, sir. And it's getting colder. It's not 50 some degrees no more. <laughs> Put a coat on. And we need a little wind blocker, too. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Gene. Um, yeah, under my report, uh, I did attend with uh, five of my grandsons. And uh, it was like the first one was sold out. We couldn't even go at 3 o'clock for the bubble gathering at the Triplesen Center. The second one seemed to be sold out because there were a lot of little people and a lot of old people like me there with their little people. And, uh, a good hour of entertainment for uh, the people of Harlan, and the young gentleman did a nice job. He was uh, very entertaining for the age group I had, and, and even for me, I enjoyed it. And it's nice. That, I don't know. Todd, did he come through you guys, or I don't know how did he get lined up? No, he didn't come through us. Really? So, yeah. No. A lot yeah. of individual marketing promotion. <clears throat> and and he, they out. donate. You know, that's one thing. Yes. I was trying to think about that. Mm -hmm. They donate back. I think they're. He only makes money on the concessions what he sells, as far as the lighting things that they sell, the popcorn, or where else it was, and all those stuff went back to a, a local fund. Something I should find out from Kelly, I guess, where that was going. But he mentioned that during the program that the money that they take in for tickets and stuff, he doesn't keep that. He donates that back to a, I think a local group. So I'm not sure where that went. But. So yeah, he did a nice job. 
So that's how I spent my Saturday afternoon. So, so. And if I, I could just yeah. tie, tie onto that real quick, Mayor, that the reason I kind of teed that up for you was that, you know, for, for any business or nonprofit or group, you know, we've got two wonderful venues and uh, varied sized spaces in our community uh, that the city runs or has available, obviously our best auditorium, as well as our Turkelson Center, that uh, those spaces are available for rent for you to host activities and um, do different events. Um, so who knows, Kyle, that maybe uh, Elvis and the bubble person may want to partner up to do a, <laughs> I can see that. a bubble Elvis show. But yeah. it, it, certainly, you know, we have lots of activities in our community and throughout our county, and we want to be relevant and vibrant. Um, and uh, once I learned of this activity, and it was well attended and sold out, that uh, other groups want, wish to do so, we've got great space for it. So. Yeah. Well, that's all I've got for my chair. I will move on to uh, Shelby County Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Todd Bellin. Good evening. Good evening. Todd. Some items to note. Um, just a reminder that February is National Children's Dental Health Month. So uh, it just reinforces the importance of oral health in children and getting them started early. And we are very lucky in Shelby County to actually have four wonderful dental providers. So look for information out on their social media to help support it. And if you need to make some appointments, get some appointments made in February. Um, also, kind of unique, uh, the Global Methodist Women Learning for Life and Mercy Medical Center have all come together for the month of February. And they're doing a diaper drive throughout uh, Shelby County. So donations are going to be taken through February. They need diaper sizes four through seven, the pull-ups, the diaper wipes, the rash cream, all the stuff that we all know you need for the little ones. And you can drop those things off at Community Health, Fairway, Hy-Vee, the Mertu uh, Gift Shop, and also Global Methodist Church at 9th and Durant. So a uh, nice program for them to do, especially in the month of February. And so when you're grocery shopping, grab a, grab a bag of diapers and drop them in the box as you're going by. Um, another thing that's very unique to Shelby County is the pipe organ at Emmanuel Lutheran Church. It is a very unique, very beautiful organ. They have done some updates and some repairs to it, and so they're going to kind of show it off this Sunday at 1 o'clock. There is a free organ recital, and if you haven't heard an organ of that size played before, it's, it's, it's pretty impressive. So 1 o'clock at the Emmanuel Lutheran Church. Something else to note, February 16th uh, at Studio 712, so they have a new location at 506 Market Street. So they're going to have a ribbon cutting and a grand opening, and combined with their ribbon cutting and grand opening, they're also going to celebrate Joan Heiberman um, as she's retiring from Shaven Insurance. So you can take part in both of those events. And then finally at the um, library coming up on February 29th, there's going to be a, a Darcy Dougherty is an author. She's going to be there for a book called Iowa's Lost History of the Titanic. So, you know, you never think about that tying the Titanic and Iowans who may would have been involved with it. But that's going to be from 6 to 7, Thursday, February 29th. Um, she'll be talking about a book, and she'll have books available for purchase and for signing. So, like Jean said, just a lot of really cool things going on, and uh, more and more building up as uh, we get calls to add stuff to our events calendar. So. Looking forward to the next uh, couple months. There's going to be a lot happening around Shelby County. And that's it for me. Your chamber banquet date? That'll be March 15th. March 15th. Okay. So, just again, a reminder to the public, within the next week you'll be seeing the announcements to get your um, um, uh, Shelby County Citizen of the Year nominations into us so we can get those reviewed. And then also throughout the chamber businesses we'll be voting on Business of the Year, New Business of the Year, and Nonprofit of the Year. So. Thanks, Todd. All right, thanks. thanks, Todd. <clears throat> and Joe Ruschenberg had sent word that he was not going to be able to attend and didn't have anything else that he yes, really wanted to add, correct. correct? So, any comments from the public? Ashley, anything you want to add to our meeting? No? Do you want to mention those mailings? The NCL mailings um, will probably be going out. Go oh, out to with the mm -hmm. uh, the sewer line. The uh, mailings with the uh, home service or sanit uh, sanitary sewer the warranty protection. Got mine uh, today. Yep. Okay, so yeah, they should be. Uh, we've commented before, and that we were going to post something on Facebook as well. 
that uh, the program that we all learn about and uh, sign the marketing agreement with, uh, those mailings are start hitting mailboxes, as the mayor just said uh, here the first part of this month. Uh, it is voluntary. Uh, if you have questions, there's an 800 number and website in your mailing. Uh, in addition, a good opportunity, you may want to speak with your own personal insurance agent just to further, we think it's a great education opportunity, which we all talked about with when we uh, went in with the agreement. Uh, so educational awareness for a homeowner as to what their responsibility is with their sanitary sewer line, as to where their responsibility stops and it starts and ends, as well as what coverage they may or may not already have. A good opportunity to speak with their agent. And then uh, this is an alternative with warranty program uh, that uh, someone could purchase. And again, it's entirely voluntary and managed outside the city. Also, a point of clarification that our, our, water, you know, our, our, our water utility is managed through uh, HMU. Our sanitary service is managed through the city. So I guess it's a little confusing for folks at times. I know we've spoken with uh, Jenny and communicated with their team that uh, this does not apply to your water lines. This is specific to your sanitary sewer lines. Um, but it should be fairly clear in the mailings that go out. Uh, any questions, contact the 800 number on the website. Certainly if you contact City Hall, we can get you redirected as well. Um, and thank you for that reminder. So that's, uh, I guess, all we have. Okay. Anything else from up here? Kyle? Feeling good? Hi. I'm good, Mr. Mayor. I'm okay. Feeling good as I'm going to be. Good to see day. your smiling face out there. Yeah, that's it. Hope you're back here in person one of these days, so. Yeah, I will be soon enough. Troy, did you get a jacket yet? <clears throat> no, I'm going to go watch the Don Reed. Okay. Film. We'll get it adjourned so you can get in there. All right, meeting adjourned. <laughs> Thank you all. Thanks. Thank you.